गाइस होप यू आर ऑल सेफ सो प्लीज़ फॉलो प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स फॉर दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर वीडियो सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज़ यूनिट फोर टेस्ट फॉर डिटेक्शन ऑफ विशा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल गो विथ इंट्रोडक्शन पॉइजन्स और यूजर्स सिंस स्पैन ऑफ ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस फॉर मेनी पर्पजेस Ancient tribes used poisons as weapons, hunting tools, anti-venoms, and medicines, etc. In the modern world, poisons are also used for constructive uses like preservatives, disinfectants, cleaning solutions, pesticides. Like we will all be using disinfectants now in a days to kill the microorganisms and the viruses. Poison can induce any type of hazardous effects in human beings. It may result in acute as well as chronic illness or even in death. The effects of poison in living organisms are generally referred as poisoning. Detection of poison in a material or a human body contents is an important aspect of forensic toxicology. Materials and methods. Literature reviewed from Ayurvedic scriptures like Shushruta Samhita, Charak Samhita, Ashtanga Sangraha, Ashtanga Hridaya, Kautilya Artha Shastra, etc. books of modern toxicology online published studies all data is compiled analyzed and discussed there are two methods main methods for diagnosis of poison first is ancient method of diagnosis of poisoning and modern methods of diagnosis of poisoning first we will see the ancient methods in the scriptures of ayurveda all the adhisthana of various poisons various modes of poisoning sign and symptoms of poisoning vishanidhan and chikitsa of poisoning in mentioned in detail chronic poisoning is described as garavisha and dushi visha so our divine sages developed some methods for the diagnosis of the poisoning which are as following there are six methods in the ancient detection those are agni parirakshana of poisoned material panch bhautik parirakshan of poisoned material examination of poisoned material in animals and birds bauthik parikshan lakshanusar parikshan in this lakshanusar parikshan again there will be five types first is sign and symptoms of sthavar and jangam visha sign and symptoms according to mode of administration sign and symptoms according to site of poison sign and symptoms according to use of poisoned material sign and symptoms of gari visha and dushi visha and the last one and the sixth one is ashmrut parikshan agni parikshan of poisoned material poisoned materials burns with single point flame not with normal spreading flame but with a single point flame becomes like peacock's neck interrupted and slow emits flames of different colors like rainbow and gives out cracking sound the emerged smoke has cadaveric smell panchabhautik parikshan shabda parikshan shabda means sound poisoned food burns making loud cracks rupa parikshan rupa means appearance when cast into the fire poisoned material acquires the colors of peacock's neck gandha parikshan means smell on burning poisoned material emits irritating fumes rasa parikshan means test lacks its natural taste sparsha parikshan means touch contact with poisoned food causes burning sensation and nails falling of hands examination of poisoned material in animals and birds on seeing the poisoned food jeeva jeevaka bird dies the voice of nightingale becomes abnormal the crouncha bird gets intoxicated the peacock which is otherwise cheerful becomes agitated parrot and myna birds cry aloud with fear swan makes more sound the bharangaraja bird hoots the spotted deer shed tears and the monkey defecates bauthik parikshan vishujhusta anna means poisoned foods food mixed with poison requires long time to cook cooked one becomes stale loses its natural odor color smell taste it becomes hard also it becomes very moist and appear to be full of glistening particles condiments mixed with poison dried very quickly poisoned materials burns with single point flame layers from liquid materials poisoned liquid shows the following characters quatha becomes dark black or blue colored poisoned water gets distorted with more or less of the natural features images not appear at all appearance of blue lines in meat soup 
காப்பரி ரெட் லைன்ஸ் இன் மில்க் பிளாக் லைன்ஸ் இன் ஆல்கஹால் ப்ளூஇஷ் லைன்ஸ் இன் பட்டர் மில்க் கிரீன் லைன்ஸ் இன் ஹனி லைட் ப்ரௌன் லைன்ஸ் இன் கீ லைட் ரெட் லைன்ஸ் இன் ஆயில் தீஸ் கன்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் த பாய்சனிங் இன் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் லக்ஷானுசார் பரீக்ஷன் மீன்ஸ் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் சிம்டம்ஸ் இன் ஆயுர்வேதிக் சயின்ஸ் பாய்சன் ஹாவ் பீன் டிவைடட் இன்டூ டூ மேஜர் பார்ட்ஸ் தோஸ் ஆர் ஸ்தாவர விஷா அண்ட் ஜங்கம விஷா சைன் அண்ட் சிம்டம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்தாவர் அண்ட் ஜங்கம விஷா லக்ஷணா ஆஃப் ஸ்தாவர விஷா கான்டாக்ட் பை எனி ரவுட் காசஸ் ஃபீவர் ஹிக்கப் சென்சிட்டிவிட்டி இன் டீத் ஸ்பாசம் இன் த்ரோட் ஃப்ராத்தி சலைவா வாமிட்டிங் எக்ஸெட்ரா அண்ட் லக்ஷணாஸ் ஆஃப் ஜங்கம் விஷா ஆர் ஸ்லீப்பி ட்ரௌசினஸ் எக்ஸாஸ்டன் பேர்னிங் சென்சேஷன் எக்ஸெட்ரா சைன்ஸ் அண்ட் சிம்டம்ஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு மோட் ஆஃப் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் பாய்சனஸ் ஃபியூம்ஸ் Inhalation of poison fumes or smoke causes fainting, watering of eyes and mouth, headache, runny nose and disturbances of the vision. Vapor of poisoned food, cardiac pain, abnormal movement of eyes and headache. Poisoned toothbrush causes dryness and swelling of palate, teeth, tongue and lips. Poisoned collyrium application causes accumulation of dirt in eyes, redness, pain, distortion of vision and even blindness. Poisoned snuff and smoke causes headache, discharge of watery fluid, bleeding through the natural orifices. Poisoned eardrops causes swelling, pain, ulcers and defects of hearing. Smelling poisoned flowers causes headache, tears in the eyes and loss of sensation of the smell. Signs and symptoms according to the sight of poison. Visha in mouth causes stinging sensation in lips. burning sensation inside the mouth hardness at the root of the tongue locked jaw more salivation loss of sensation of taste pricking pain visha in amashaya causes perspiration toxicity fainting vomiting discoloration etc all over the body rashes and abnormality of sense organs visha in pakwashaya causes thirst burning sensation fainting diarrhea gurgling noise in the abdomen stupor loss of strength enlargement of abdomen etc signs and symptoms according to use of poisoned material poisoned oil can produce burning sensation in the skin ulcers bleed and lacerations poisoned oil for application on head produces headache appearance of nodules and falling of hair poisoned comb causes falling of hair headache bleeding from passage etc poisoned wooden footwear causes inflammation discharge numbness eruption of boils in feet poisoned ornaments causes burning sensation and and tearing of poisoned material signs and symptoms of garvisha and dushivisha garvisha means artificially mixed poison Garivisha is prepared by mixing more than a single poison or non-poisonous drugs. It may produce smelling, anemia, enlargement of abdomen, etc. Dushivisha means weak poison. This is the weak and latent poison. One suffering from Dushivisha passes liquid stool of abnormal color, has foul smell, tasteless sensation in mouth, vomiting and other symptoms of toxicity. Ashumrut Parikshan means examination in dead body. external and internal findings confirms the diagnosis of poisoning for the homicidal purpose poison was ingested with mixing in food materials black colored hands legs teeth and nails in the dead body confirms it improper posture scattered clothes and the number of episodes of diarrhea occurred confirms death by dhatura poisoning discharge of blood from bite site in indicates snake bite food materials found in the dead was subjected to birds for the confirmation of the poisoning modern methods of diagnosis of poisoning various highly developed analytical methods have been used for diagnosis of poisoning in the modern science mainly used methods for the diagnosis of poisoning are as follows signs and symptoms in poisoned chemical screening test chromatographic screenings ultraviolet visible spectroscopy atomic absorption spectroscopy polo polarography immunoassay and breath alcohol analyzer 
signs and symptoms in poisoned first one for some extent poisoning can be diagnosed by signs and symptoms in the poisoned one for example diagnosis of kerosene poisoning by kerosene smell breathing difficulty pain and burning abdomen vomiting loose motions can be find out please refer this table for signs and symptoms and what are the poisons given to them chemical screening test analytical detection of the poison in the samples is the most important proof of poisoning Samples from the suspected case are screened with the help of specific chemical reagents for the related poisons. For example, diagnosis of barbiturates by cobaltous acetate, five percent isopropylamine solutions. These tests prove the presence of suspected poisons in poisoned material. Hallucinogenic drugs like LSD are easily detected under UV light. Many alkaloids can be detected by chemical reactions. chromatographic screenings these methods are used for qualitative as well as quantitative determination of the poison in the suspected samples and these are highly specific and fast acting techniques these can be used as corroborative evidence these include the following thin layer chromatography this is only qualitative test this is very useful in emergency to diagnose presence or absence of poison liquid chromatography gas liquid chromatography liquid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography techniques are used for identification and quantification of the solid liquid as well as gaseous poisons gas liquid chromatography is preferably used for analysis of volatile and thermostable pesticides for example organophosphates and organochlorates etc high performance liquid chromatography with the help of this technique minute traces of organic components of various mixtures can be separated and analyzed this is widely used for qualitative and quantitative analysis of lipstick smears heroin amphetamine amphetamine lsd green pesticides alcohols plant and animal poisons etc ultraviolet means visible spectroscopy This is a quick and inexpensive technique for qualitative and quantitative analysis of drugs like barbiturates, benzodiazepines, morphine, tranquilizers, DDT, etc. Atomic absorption spectrography. This is used for qualitative and quantitative analysis of poisoned sample. By this technique, the quantity of a single poison can be determined in the mixture of multiple poisons. So this is widely used for determination of various poisons in the liquid materials. Polarography means trace metal analyzer. With the help of this technique, trace amount of poisons can be determined with their physical and chemical properties also. Ion concentrations of many corrosives can be measured. Accuracy, precision, low quantification limit and low price makes it very popular in poisons analysis. Immunoassay It is accepted as the most practical method for determination and measurements of substances with high protein content and difficult to isolate. These are very simple but rapid techniques which do not require any pre-treatment of samples. Concentration of the suspected poison is measured by enzyme activity of the poison. Insulin, barbiturate, benzodiazepine and opiate derivatives may be studied by this method. Breath alcohol analyzer This breath alcohol analyzer is used to detect ethanol in breath air. With the help of this the concentrations of alcohol in the blood can be calculated. For conversion of breath alcohol conversation concentration into blood alcohol concentration constant blood to breath ratio of alcohol is assumed. It is 2000 is to 1 or 2300 is to 1. Vishadata lakshana According to Ashtanga the person who induces poison has all the following features the features are discolored face his mouth will be dry out of anxiety shy by nature looks here and there aimlessly will sweat profusely shiver loses strength fearful stumbles while making and stammers on walking yawn frequently According to Charaka the person administrating the poison should be identified as over conscious or utterly suspicious talking too much talking less devoid of luster 
change in normal behavior of a person vishapita lakshana the signs and symptoms exhibited by the person who has been administered with poison the person who has consumed a poison eliminates stools accompanied with flatus the fishes resembling the chimney soot liquid and expelled many times as in diarrhea he exhibits great distension of abdomen sheds warm tears and is discolored and complains of frothy secretions from the mouth so this was the topic and i have explained what are all the techniques which through which we could detect visha and the important questions from this chapter are test for detection of visha panchabhautika pariksha for visha vishadata lakshana vishakta anjana lakshana vishakta mukhalipa lakshana paduka visha so guys please do learn this chapter please like share and subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends to whom you want to help i will come with an important and uh, interesting chapter next time so this is dr aisha signing out thank you guys